Hello everyone and welcome to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is episode 26 of the Learn to Play series. In the previous episodes, you've learned how to bid when the opposition always passes. In the next several episodes, you'll learn how to bid when the opposition also bids. First, we'll spend a few episodes looking at how to bid after the opposition opens the bidding. A bid made after the opposition has opened is known as an overcall. In this episode, you'll learn how to make a suit overcall after the opposition has opened one of a suit. Let's start with a new deal. This is deal 151. East is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have eight high card points and two long points for a total of 10 points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi-balanced. And you have only one biddable suit, hearts. East opens the bidding with one diamond. It's your turn to bid. It's not possible for you to open the bidding, as East has already opened the bidding. Most importantly, you interpret your opponent's opening bid. This is not as simple as interpreting partner's bid. Your opponents may not be using the same bidding system as you, but you are still entitled to know what their bids mean. A bidding system is not allowed to be a secret. There are two different ways to find out what this bid means. Firstly, if you are playing in a bridge club, the opponents will have provided a system card which explains what their common bids mean. It's always a good idea to take a quick look at this card before the first deal. It's usually left on the table and you can reference it at any time. Secondly, you can ask the bidder's partner what the bid means. I always use the exact same words when asking this question. What do you understand by your partner's bid? The bidder's partner is required to answer you honestly and completely. In this case, the reply is, Partner has 13 to 21 points and at least four diamonds. So you know that East has 13 to 21 points and four or more diamonds, but what should you bid? There are many different bidding arrangements that can apply in this situation. For less experienced players, I prefer one which is simple and works reliably. For any hand with less than 18 points, apply similar rules to those used for weak opening bids. As you learned in episode 16, these bids are based on a long, strong suit. Your only long suit is hearts. You apply the rules for a strong suit. You have the ace and king of hearts, which are two of the top three cards in the suit so your heart suit is a strong suit. This means you can bid hearts, but at what level? You apply the rule. You'll subtract four from the length of the suit to find the level at which to bid. You have six hearts, so subtracting four leaves you a possible bid of two hearts. You need to check that this bid is higher than the current bid. The current bid is one diamond, so two hearts is certainly a higher bid. You overcall with a bid of two hearts. It's West's turn to bid. Your two heart bid has made bidding more difficult and West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. You made a bid based on the same rules as an opening bid of two hearts. Partner will use the same rules to reply to your bid as would be used to reply to an opening bid of two hearts. 
In episode 17, you learned that these rules are based on quick tricks, not on points. Partner does this and passes. And East passes to end the auction. The contract is two hearts by south. Depending on partner's hand, this may be a viable contract or a sensible sacrifice. Now let's try another deal. This is deal 152. East is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 10 high card points and one long point for a total of 11 points. With two doubletons, your hand is semi-balanced and you have two biddable suits, hearts and clubs. East opens the bidding with one diamond. It's your turn to bid. You interpret your opponent's opening bid. East has 13 to 21 points and four or more diamonds. You apply the rules for overcalling the opponent's opening bid of one of a suit. Your 11 points are sufficient for a possible suit overcall in a long, strong suit. You check for a long, strong suit. Your only long suit is a five-card heart suit. You have two of the top three cards in the suit, so it is a strong suit. You apply the rule for bidding this suit. You have only five hearts. Subtracting four from this leaves only one. You can bid one heart if this is a legal bid. The current bid is one diamond by East. One heart would be a higher bid and therefore is a legal bid. Your hand would not have been strong enough for an opening bid of one heart, but it has all that is necessary for an overcall. You bid one heart. West bids one spade. Partner passes. East bids two spades. It's your turn to bid. You have told partner as much as you can about your hand. Without any encouragement from partner, you have no option but to pass. West also passes, and partner passes to end the auction. The contract is two spades by West. Partner will lead to the first trick. Because you bid hearts, partner will almost certainly lead a heart. This will be a good start to your attempt to defeat the contract. One of the reasons for overcalling is to tell partner which suit to lead if the opposition wins the auction. Now let's try another deal. This is deal 153. East is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have five high card points and four long points for a total of nine points. You have a singleton, so your hand is unbalanced and your only biddable suit is spades. East opens the bidding with one heart. It's your turn to bid. You interpret East's opening bid. You recall from reading the opponent's system card that East's bid shows 13 to 21 points and five or more hearts. You apply the rules for overcalling. Your nine points indicate that an overcall with a suit bid may be possible. You know you need a long, strong suit to do so, and you check your long spades. You have only one of the top three spades. So you apply the rule you learned in episode 16. With only one of the top three spades, you subtract one from the suit length. This means you treat your eight card spade suit as a strong seven card spade suit. You subtract four from the length to find the correct level for your bid. You bid three spades. It's West's turn to bid. Your bid has made it much more difficult for West to bid 
and West passes. Partner raises your spades with a game bid of four spades. East passes. You are very happy with the contract and pass. And West passes to end the auction. The contract is four spades by South. Partner must have three quick tricks to raise your bid to gain. Your long spades and partner's quick tricks should ensure that this is a successful contract. This episode has covered more of the basics of bridge. It focused on making a suit overcall after your opponents open the bidding with one of a suit. In future episodes, I'll cover everything else you'll need to be a confident and successful bridge player. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that Bridge is for everyone.